Yeah, hello, social camera. I just want to tell you one thing. I am okay. I am very okay. I mean, okay. I'm not okay, yeah? But um, I am not uh, suffering. Uh, look, sometimes videos, you're not going to see them because I want to double check them and see if I can post them, yeah? I'm not like this. And by the way, if I give social care, but I don't care. My topics are my topics. Yeah, nobody knows the names and everything. If this is what's what, but I do check them that there's no cursing. And because the problem is, you know, how do you want to that's why sometimes you will not see videos but now from now on the videos that already exist they will stay yeah but i started now new because look what what do i have from it now loading videos which which are no way fake yeah because I, you know i'm showing christmas from last year and everything you know last year i was pretty okay to this time it was as i went back to the bis page and i saw that natalie is on it because what these people are doing now is nothing else but keeping natalie on the page while i told natalie when i look when i add you to the page the thing is i did not want to humiliate them i could have at once posted the picture you know because i know what they're gonna use next i know these people yeah they were gonna he was attacking us on the page well of course i'm gonna attack them when they start writing sports is not important since when are sports that important to go to harvard you need a sport you need a social activity these people did nothing in school yeah they took everything for granted i was the one who's who was reopening the school the new year at international school not that person called samir yeah yeah go do your license first yeah and by the way when did these people do their military service and license in school i'm talking about my school when did you do it yeah tell me when you did it what is unfair is as i started working for the un yeah all I, ha I could hear day and night is because a lot of people thought I'm too young. They thought I faked everything as well. I mean, does it make sense? Today I'm 45. Would I not have these sleepless nights? I would look much, much younger. And this is the problem. These people thought I faked my age, I faked my army, I faked my license, just like they did. By the way, I gave my license back in the year 1995 because even my license was not correct, even though it is a hundred thousand times correcter than theirs because I did, there is, there is no cheating, yeah? It's just that I did not like the way it was done and I don't need a license, I'm better off without a license. But if some people think, because some people in VIS think, oh, but he has this adapter story and he doesn't want to. Look, respecting my father and mother, I do respect them. Do I kill my father? No. Do I beat the shit out of him? No, I don't. He did, yeah? The thing is, yeah, when you do this to a child, this child starts glorifying. Because as I had to stand in front of court, as a child, you know, the first thing I saw is my sister run away. I used to see how my sister used to run to one window to look. Is my father here? Is my father not here? I used to see how terrified she was. I was terrified myself. We were scared to our lives, yeah? My sister used to land in the emergency room. In the Vienna International School, yeah? They are not, they are not integrated in Austria because they go to BIS. Most of them are refugees from Lebanon. My mother had to sell chewing gum on the streets of Beirut in front of Camp Marias. There's nothing to be ashamed of. I would be proud of this, yeah? I won't be ashamed of this, but even though she's a good woman, yeah, today she points today she points at that the people who are addicted and people man, had she had her issues and lived in Austria and grew up in the wrong place, she would have been worse than the others, yeah. So and by the way she also looked did not she tried to do a lot. The thing is, um my mother was very weak and she is very weak but that's thanks to my father and thanks to my sister my sister find yourself a man and leave home please yeah because you are making the life of my mother to hell you are making you know she tries to command me around i cannot believe this yeah 40 years old or older and all she does she thinks now because you know i don't want to tell you how much is in my bank account but much more than before this is what i don't know if jesus did this yeah but the thing is she thought if she stops giving me cigarettes from the un she wasn't helping me the only things that i needed in the un they have things like maybe mustard and they have things like eggnog milk yeah and, and that's what they're doing you know i never told my sister to do anything for me i told her look i will pay everything yeah but i mean you're my you're supposed to be my sister i can ask you you know but no she she does it to control you because she's a control freak she's an addict she's a control addict and trust me this is the worst addiction you can have drug addiction is not bad by the way drugs i never i took illegal drugs just like vis did just like the people in the end do yeah but for a short time 
for a very short time and I took them because I could not you know the U these people used to come to the UN in 1992 every human rights conference half my school was there to make themselves important and I had a job there one a friend even told them hey he has a responsibility he has a lot to do you people are doing nothing you're just studying and you're and you're on, you're on the children is you know they live they were studying in the United States and this is the big problem these people ruined the United States look the first people who went to the United States were people who prayed yeah the people who are following up and this is what they do in the United States yeah this is what I think of it the United States is a good country and God bless the United States but still as Obama made his speech he did not say this is our story he said my story okay let's leave this now aside yeah I ask myself yeah civil rights yeah how many are still suffering? A lot are still suffering. And it's, what they did is exactly what the AIDS at Vienna is doing. Yeah, they're telling me, look, we can put you in our gay club, but you have to also then uh, kick down on all the addicts and everything. I'm not going to, because for a couple of days I was addicted myself. Afterwards it was legal medicine, so I can put up with my life yeah and the best thing is a lot of people ask me why why I never went to doctors well why should I go to doctors you know what doctors the pain I had as a child was so much stronger that the pains you know I did not if, if people would look at my life they would think oh but this makes all sense all of this makes sense well anyway I'm okay I'm gonna decorate my apartment it takes longer to recall my apartment because I'm, and I'm gonna throw all the junk away that, that my sister brought me or God knows what. Maybe I'm even gonna gather it and go throw it on her car or in her car. Because I or put it in the car. I will see or give it to people who need it, yeah. But some things have to be thrown away. Anyway, I'm going to do my work and prepare for Christmas. You know what shall I do? I cannot change anything anyway. If Natalie's getting raped, then she's getting raped, yeah. By the way, to one uh, woman who thinks others want to get rid of their children, yeah, I would like to get rid of my child, do you know why, because I never created my child, yeah, her mother was pregnant, yeah, but even if I want to do something, I have no chance, yeah, because two people are lying, yeah, look, the mother of Natalie got sexually abused as she was a child, she was put on drugs by her mother, this grandmother, who has already ruined the life of five of her children, is now responsible for Natalie. Plus, she only, you know, there are a lot of things which are a big problem because she registers her in Vienna without finishing the school. That means one year before or two years before she changes the school, she changed it to another school. That's the worst thing you can do to a child, yeah? Only to get more money, you know? And by the way, this is not, you know, of course, yeah? I mean, look, if you have children, yeah, and these children are okay and you can still cry, then you might have a bad life, but that's life, yeah? What I'm going through, do not even think you can compare it. I'm sure people who are on the street and, and these people, they can tell you similar stories. Maybe they don't want to, but they can. But, I mean, your life is pretty okay. It's, it's okay, I understand it. Discrimination in the family is not nice, yeah? But um, as far as I know, you do see your children and everything. I only have one child, yeah? And this child should not exist because the woman, her mother, was pregnant, yeah? And this should, because there, I did, she is being sued because of violence, yeah? To be honest, can I go outside now and maybe drop a couple of pills in a woman's thing, rape her, make her pregnant, yeah? And then take the child, let the child live by me, yeah? And, and let someone else abuse the child or abuse the child myself and then ask... Uh, sue her for that she pays the the alimente and and this is crazy yeah or or, or you know th this is so disgusting i don't even want to i don't even want to think of it yeah but i'm okay i'm gonna do other videos and by the way sometimes the videos are not visible because until i look at them and i tell me and a friend say okay we can post them only then will i post them but now there are five six videos which you can look at and they will stay like this. The other videos are going to be hidden. Everybody who pressed my eyes on them or commented on them, he can see them or she can see them. I still have to finish this. Otherwise, there are going to be videos. Only sometimes I have to what, look at my the videos myself. Can I post them or can I not post them? Now some are available, the new ones, because I want to live in the future, not in the past. Here's bless everyone. Bye.